Uh, just continue about the influences at Hunter College and beyond. Right. Uh, the influence of Dr. Clark eventually led me to First World Alliance, which was a ma major organization here in New York City, located here in Harlem, uh, headed by Brother Bill Jones and Sister Kefa Nephis. And at that forum, which met every Saturday at about 3 o'clock, for, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 years or more. I was one of the first people to, att in fact, I was one of the first people to attend the first lecture of First World Alliance. At that first lecture, I remember it was in a, it was in a church. Mount Zion Lutheran, very, Lutheran very, Church, very right, up on church. And, right up on 145th Street on the corner, 145th Street and Convent Avenue. That first lecture of First World Alliance, there were 10 people in the audience, and I was one of the 10. And the lecturer, was Dr. Yosef Ben Yekinen, better known as Dr. Ben, who spoke on the history of Papua New Guinea and the relationship of the Africans there with the Africans here and the Africans, of course, on the continent. Ten people in the audience. I guess word had not gotten around. The next week, the next Saturday, Dr. Ben spoke, and I remember the title of his lecture, Temples and Tombs, spoke on the history of Egypt. The place was packed. And through First World Alliance, that was another entree into meeting all of the great historians. For instance, historians that showed up, that I got to talk with and sit at their feet, were Chancellor Williams, Destruction of Black Civilization, J.G. Jackson, Introduction to African Civilization, of course, Dr. Clark, Dr. Ben, Marlana Karinga would be there often, uh, Asa Hilliard, Wade Nobles, Dr. Wade Nobles from San Francisco State, Asa Hilliard from Georgia Tech, so any number of historians passed through there. Uh, Ivan Van Sertema, First World Alliance, opened up the floodgates to Van Sertema. This is where he really became known. And reporters would show up, like Gil Noble and other people. Many actors would show up. Ralph Carter from Good Times would be there. Uh, Haywood Nelson from uh, What's Happening would be there. And so this was the gathering place. On a few occasions, I saw boxes there. Uh, uh, people from the Olympics. So this was a gathering place with all of, I guess you might say, the inter interested parties and the great minds of African American and African history all came. Malefe Asante. They all came. You also had educators like Amos Wilson. Amos and, Wilson, and, who we were uh, very close with. By the way, let me tell you a little story about Amos Wilson. A lot of people don't know this. When uh, 